and welcome back to another installment of Rapid Licks. <laughs> all right, so today we are going to be taking a look at your economy picking. And with the rising cost of all expenses around there, it's an important thing to keep your mind on the economy. And specifically in this case, your picking. So anyway, this lick is actually a sequence comprised of a lick that just keeps repeating everywhere. So yeah, I'm going to break this down into the lick. I'll show you the sequence and uh, hopefully you can take this idea and start putting it into your own plane. All right, so before we get going, just a couple things I do want to mention. Uh, I am playing uh, this guitar down in E flat. So if you have a guitar, tune it down a half step and you'll be able to play along. And as per usual, I'm going to refer to all the notes and everything as if we are in standard tuning, just that way I'm not doing a conversion and risking making a mistake, which will confuse me and will confuse you. And we won't learn anything which we don't want. The lick itself is based around A minor. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume you know A minor. If you don't, go find yourself a little scale pattern of A minor and just follow along. That is the scale we're going to be using and we're only going to be doing things on the bottom two strings. That is it. That is all. All right, enough chatting. Let's get going. All right, so to start this off, the lick itself is, I'm just going to show you the lick and then we'll just keep moving this up the scale, but this is how the lick goes. That, okay? And all that is, is I'm playing over here on my B string, starting with an upstroke five, downstroke six, upstroke onto the eight, and then downstroke on the five, upstroke on the six, downstroke on the eight, and this is important. As you get to the downstroke, here's the economy piece. When we switch strings, we're gonna do it on a downstroke. So, so far we've got this. So you end on a downstroke. Now what I want you to do is just keep on, keep on going with your downstroke all the way through here onto your high E string on the fifth. So we've got just like that. And that was a downstroke, right? Now come up with an upstroke onto the seventh fret. Okay, so this is what we have all together. Up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. And then from there, what you're gonna do is, you can either do this with an upstroke or a downstroke. I'm gonna recommend you use a downstroke for this. Jump back onto your B string and up here on the eighth, go downstroke. And again, you're gonna swipe right through back onto the high E string on the fifth fret. So that's two downstrokes, right? Like that. And now to finish the phrase, upstroke, downstroke on the seventh. Sorry, downstroke on the eighth is how you finish it. So just like that. So the entire phrase looks like this. And you'll know you did that right because you should finish this on a downstroke, okay? The important thing to remember about this too is there's two ways you can approach this. So when I do this in the version you saw me play in the beginning, I'm not doing a downstroke on my second string change. I'm doing an upstroke, an inside pick, and then going into a downstroke. That feels more comfortable. It's still economy picking, but there's two ways to do this. So here's the conventional way to do this with downstrokes. And this is the way you'd see players like Ingve Malmsteen or Eric Johnson approach this kind of phrasing, right? So we're starting with an upstroke, right? So did you see that? Let me play that again slowly just so you can see what I'm talking about. So up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, right? That is the conventional style of doing this. So the other way you can do this is with the inside picking, which is up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up. See that? The change there was on and up, which is different, and then down, up, down. Right? So the only difference is when I start the second string change, I'm not going with a downstroke all the time. I'm doing an upstroke and then just continuing with downstrokes on the high E. Either works, either is fine. It doesn't really make any difference. Uh, they do sound different though, and you're gonna find that one of these feels a lot more comfortable than the other. They're both economy picking, both will work. Again, wait till we start doing the big phrase and See what one works for you better in that kind of linear fashion because you'll find once you start really increasing the speed, one will feel much harder than the other. All right, and I'm gonna play through the entire thing uh, just so you can kind of get an ear for how this should sound.
Okay. And this is pretty simple, guys. What I'm gonna do is just play the lick I just showed you, so. Just like that. And all we're gonna do now, we started back here on the B string on the fifth. We're just gonna move that up one position in the scale and play the exact same thing over again, starting with an upstroke. Okay, and you got it. We're moving up one more position now. So we're starting right here on the eighth fret and you got it. And one more up again. So now we're on the 10th fret. And now we're up to the 12th fret and we repeat that again. Okay, you're with me? Yeah, this isn't too hard, right? Rocket science, people. And now we're on to the 13th fret, same thing. And up here on to the 15th fret. And then to end this, I just come back here and play right there on the 17th, which is an A, of course, and we're in A minor, so that sounds like gravy. And that's it, that's the entire lick. All you're doing is just taking this little pattern and stacking it. That's it, nothing to it. Just take that, move all the way, resolve it in A and you got it. Oh, you want my bonus lick. Okay, so in the intro video when I resolved to the A, I think I did something kind of like this. That sort of thing. If you want to do that, by all means, feel free. All I'm doing is uh, we stopped here on the safe. I'm just hammering on from the 15 to the 17, pulling off immediately. Sliding back to the E located on the 12th fret. And this is on the high E string, of course. And then from there, I'm thinking more or less an A minor arpeggio and just adding in a few extra notes. So, you know, that'd be the A minor arpeggio, obviously. And I'm just going right there. I'd start off on the 12th fret high E, coming over to the 13th, pulling off back to the 12th, grabbing there on the 14th fret of my G string finger rolling over here onto the 14th fret of my D string and then just walking down the scale from the A string on the 15th, 14th, and then of course the 12th, which is an A, we're an A minor, sounds good. And of course, we know at the 12th everything repeats. I think I just let go of it with a bit of a flick and grab the bar and dive because it sounds cool. Okay, got it? Perfect, there, that's your bonus like. All right, so the entire sequence played slowly should sound kind of like this. that whole sequence played a little bit quicker. All right, kids, maximum effort. So there you have it, one economy picking linear shred lick sequence thing that I put together. Uh, again, just the first lick is the real bare bones mechanics of how this works. Take that and apply that wherever you want. Obviously you can start this anywhere and make big, you know, diagonal kind of scale runs if you want, you know, stuff kind of like the... Stuff like that. I mean, the sky is really the limit. It's just the, the mechanics of that pattern that I want you to really focus on. Anyway, even though I did say, you know, use either or, you know, inside picking or do the double down stroke thing, kind of more like Ingve Malmsteen or Eric Johnson. I will say that it is fairly important to practice both of them. You're gonna find both these techniques sound quite different. And uh, also they lend themselves to playing different phrases. Like obviously when I'm playing just on two strings, for me the inside picking seems to be the fastest, most efficient way to play. But if I'm playing diagonally across the strings, I'm finding the Eric Johnson Ingve kind of thing with the, with the double down strokes a little bit better and cleaner for string changes. So again, experiment, 
see what works for you, see what makes the most sense. Uh, anyway, that's it. That's the entire video. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did like the video, please make sure you hit like and subscribe. And as per usual, keep on treading and we'll talk to you in the next video. Bye for now. Let me say that part again.